Hello students. Okay, let's have a look at um, some equations that have brackets on both the left hand side of the equation. Let me change to my pen tool and also on the right hand side. So once again, the, the trick to this is let's get rid of the brackets first. And the easiest way to do that is to just multiply the brackets out using our distributive law. So here we have 3 times all of y plus 5. So 3 times y is 3y plus 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times y is 2y. Now I can change that to plus negative 2, but it turns out in this case that doesn't simplify things. So I'm going to leave it as subtract and 2 times 2 is 4. So step one, if I've got brackets on both sides of the equation, is expand the brackets. Okay, now we've seen equations like this before. I've got um, a term involving y on the left. I've got a term involving y on the right. So the next step I have to do is to get the variable on only, sorry, the unknown on only one side of the equation. So the easiest way to do that is to subtract 2y from both sides. In fact, I will change that to plus negative. It just turns out in this case, I think it's going to be a bit easier, at least for me. 3y subtract 2y is just 1y or just y plus 15 equals 2y minus 2y cancels out. And that leaves me with negative 4. And the last step is the opposite of adding 15 is taking 15. Those cancel out. And y equals negative 4 subtract 15 is negative 19. OK, let's just do a quick check to see if that is correct. So negative 19 plus 5 is negative 14. Negative 14 times 3 is negative 42. So the left-hand side evaluates to negative 42. On the right-hand side, negative 19 subtract 2 is negative 21. 2 by negative 21 is also negative 42. So that turns out to be the correct answer. OK, let's look at a um, slightly harder equation. In this case, the expression inside the brackets has a coefficient on the variable, or on the unknown, sorry. In both there, I've got a 5m, not just an m. And here, I've got a 3m, and not just an m. And of course, I've also got a subtract there. OK, let's go ahead and use our distributive law on both sides, 3 times 5m is 15m plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals, I'll change that to plus the negative, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4 times negative 3m is negative 12m. Okay, now what am I going to do to both sides? I got a 15m on this side a negative 12m on that side. Now, the operation that I do, I want to avoid a negative coefficient if possible. So if I subtract 15m from there and subtract 15m from there, I'm going to end up with negative 12 subtract 15. Uh, that's negative 27m. Well, I don't want to do that. It's not incorrect. It just means that the, the next step is going to be a bit harder. So a better thing to do is to add the positive 12m and add the positive 12m. So again, we have to do the same thing to both sides. Minus 12m plus 12m goes to 0, leaving just 8 on the left-hand side. 15m plus 12m is 27m plus 12. And now we're down to solving a two-step equation, which we've done before. So we can subtract 12 from both sides. Plus m, sorry, excuse me, plus 12 minus 12 cancels out. 
leaving just 27m on the left. 8 subtract 12 is negative 4. And the last step is divide both sides by negative 20. Oh, sorry, divide both sides by 27. They cross out. M equals negative 4 on 27. So once again, substituting that in for M on both sides and showing that each of these um, expressions evaluates to the same value is pretty tricky. So in this case, the best way to check the solution is just to work through the steps and make sure you haven't made any mistakes. Okay, here's a couple for you to have a go at. So uh, turn the video off once you've finished. Come back and we'll check the answers. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start by expanding out the brackets on the left. Uh, 2 times 4f is 8f, plus 2 times 7 is 14, so plus negative 1f. I always like to change every subtraction to an addition, and if there's not a coefficient on a variable, it's just a 1. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 3 times negative 1f is negative 3f. So whenever you've got the situation where you've got a positive coefficient, um, such as 8f, and the negative coefficient, such as negative 3f, usually the best way to go is to just um, add the opposite of negative 3f, which is positive 3f, because that is going to avoid negative coefficients. Negative 3f plus positive 3f goes to 0, or sometimes we say they cancel each other out. 8f plus 3f is 11f plus 14. Um, we now have a two-step equation to solve, so we take 14 from both sides. That leaves us with 11f on the left, 15 minus 14 is 1, divide both sides by 11, and answer is f equals, um, oops, f equals 1 11th. Once again, check it by just working through your steps. Okay, looking at the second question, change that to plus and negative. Use our distributive law to expand on both sides. And we get 6h plus negative 12 equals 4h plus positive 12. Okay, I've got h on both sides. In this case, they're both positive coefficients, so I can just take 4h from both sides. They cross out, leaving just the 12 on the right. 6h take 4h is 2h plus negative 12. Um, add positive 12 to both sides. Negative 12 plus positive 12 um, adds to 0. So 2h equals 24. Divide both sides by 2. And h equals 12. OK, let's go ahead and uh, check this one. See if the left side and the right side evaluate to the same value. So 12 subtract. 2 is 10. 6 times 10 is 60. So the left side evaluates to be 60. 12 plus 3 is 15. 4 times 15 is also 60. So that does check. Okay, so if we have brackets on both sides of the equal sign, first step is to expand out the brackets. 
Second step is if we have variables on both sides is to get the variable down to one side and then you have you know, usually a two-step equation to solve from there. Okay, on to the next video.